Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 3D Buff series of creating an ad ad that we're going to be bringing into Unreal Tournament 3 with any luck. Yep. With your uh, with your driver, Mr. Zach Parrish, as he's going to continue with where he left off from the other day. So Which uh, we're going to start working on the toes and the rest of the feet of this thing. I'm still I haven't decided whether or not I think the angle for this is wrong. Whether gotcha. it's a little too steep. I mean, I guess you could probably uh, do some of this for just a second. Uh, it's lining up pretty well. Oh, I'll just go with it for now. If I need to change it, we can always change it later. Okay. Yeah, so, so, uh, so what do you got planned today? Some toes. I'm going to build a toe. All right. Add that toe. Toes are good. Just build a box. Now, where's my grid set up? Do I still have that grid? Apparently, because something just popped up. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. At least it's a start. And did you like the toe? We're done. Right, plug. We're All right, let's move on. Just plug it in. We'll go on to the next <laughs> thing. Um, so there's a couple things I need to do. I need and to you make can a use toe. that excuse. It's a game model. Yeah, exactly. I need to dupe this little uh, thingy here, this funny little vent. That's got to go around. You know, a couple things we got to do here. But let's adjust our sizes first. Now, our image plane, again, which we're just using kind of as a... You know, base reference more than anything else. We're certainly not um, saying that the the image plane is the letter of the law in terms of how this thing's going to look. But we'll pull this in a little bit. I'll pull down on its height. I'm going to make this very flat at first. Okay. And we'll just kind of build up from there. So that looks pretty good, and that should extend into the body of the foot a little bit. Now, this thing um, folds. It kind of bends up and down. You can kind of see that here in this uh, rendition of the model. Um, we can see it here on the actual studio model, so there's all sorts of stuff going on there. In fact, you can see a little bit of the underside of the foot there, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can see a little bit of the underside of the toe. Let's see how well I can zoom into that. Yeah, yeah. there's some interesting some stuff going on extrusions and all. Yeah, no, nothing all that fancy, though. Okay, so uh, let's see here. If I'm on stuff. Um, yeah, so this is tapered. Or at least it looks like it's tapered. Let me find a, a better picture. I mean, I, well, I think we've already kind of seen it from a bunch of different angles. But yeah, it's got a little bit of tapering to it. So let's just go ahead and convert it's it over. It's tapered in. It's tapered up. At an yeah, angle. all sorts of tapering, man. There's just all kind of left and right. Just tapered everywhere. We just everywhere. need the taper tool in about two minutes, and that's yeah. it. Is there a taper tool? <laughs> I, I almost there, had you There right may be, then. for all I know. It's like I've just never seen it before. It happens. Uh, all right, so... Just kind of spread that out a little bit. Now, uh, the top of this thing, really, it, I mean, in most versions of the model, it's really just these two flat plates, and that's about it, depending on what picture you're looking at and whether or not you're looking at the movie uh, one. There's, like, some sort of weird flat plate up here on top. Uh, it's it's not the, the clearest thing in the world. I mean, you'd have to go... There you go. There that, you that's go. Pretty that's good. not bad. That's pretty good. Straight too. from the movie. Can't go wrong there. No, you'd think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'd think. But then I'm sure, you know, I'm still... I, I, I can't wait. I haven't got any emails yet from, like, ultra fans who are like, well, you know. Uh, that's, I'm, you know, is anybody even watching this video? Mm, I know at least one <laughs> or two people. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That I, that I can probably count on watching it. Probably. I'm sure Frankie V's watching it. Frankie's probably. He was he's, the one I was thinking about. He's right? never going to miss an episode of something like this. Uh, probably not. All right. So you stumbling around hunting for tools as if you've had a late night drinking. I, you know. Oh, I wish I had. That would be <laughs> awesome. We need to do that with one of our videos. Oh boy. Yeah, that'd be great. All okay, right. so got an extrusion going on. A little um, bit of grab an edge. We're gonna ring it. I'm gonna connect it. So we got a little line running down the center here. Uh, let's grab this edge. Let's also ring that. Uh, where's the ring? It's right up there. There you go. I, I mean, I had it just a second ago, then I lost it. That's great. Now, uh, let's see. Edge. See, that used to be a drop down, and I'm glad they did this because it's more visible. But it still messes with your mind. But it still messes with my mind yep. that I'm not quite used to it yet. Okay, so let's also hit F4 so I can see all these edges. So this gives us what we need to eventually make that flat panel on top and still make a little indention here mm -hmm. uh, along the front, though what we're probably going to want to do is grab, say, this guy. Let's take a look at that picture just one more time. And that looks like, and this is all over the ad ad, if you take a look at like the texture for it, it's like where something is dripped down off of it. Mm -hmm. So I think you're... The cleft really just kind of runs down through here, but that's pretty straight. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. I'd have to go actually watch the movie in motion to know that for sure, though, which I'm not going to do right now. So let's just take these guys, and I just want to try this out. Let's see if we can just chamfer these. 
Um, no. See, and that segments thing is totally new. Right. So I'm used to there being only one spinner. So I keep grabbing the wrong spinner. It's fantastic. I love it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, um, there's a couple of different approaches we could take here. I could extrude these up and out, respectively, or I could find some way to push this down. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. Let's let's try it this direction. Let's grab these guys and let's extrude them in. That's not what I had in mind. Um, boop. Pull those down a little bit, and then I can clean some stuff up from here. Let's click. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I should put my modeling material on this thing so I can see through it just a little bit better. So I can enhance the see through itness. Yeah. So component mode. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I was all over that. Oh, oh okay. I was all over it. Just, you know, um, helping hand and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. I know. I promised I'd just be quiet, but <laughs> you know the odds of that actually happening. Oh yeah, are slim to none. Yeah. All right. So boom. Let's grab this guy. We're still in edge constraint. We are. Which is fine. I leave that on all the time. And we can pull this down a little bit. And tug that down. Okay, so if we shade everything... See, I don't know. Down. With it wrapping around to the front, it might look kind of cool. Yeah, you, I did, but, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, you know. You'd, hang on, hang on. Let's let's take a look at multiple. P see, I don't see it doing it though. All right, I don't see it doing it's it. It's good. It's good, man. It's all good. I still and that is, you can't really tell. No, no, the, it's got snow all over it. Quality of the shots not fantastic. Just for that one piece. There's our movie again. Click, click, click. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Well, there is the. I have the shot of the model, like the little tiny miniature version. Mm -hmm. So if I fly through here, and I know he got some like really close up close ups. But his is really simple, though. So zoom into it, though. His is, like, really simple. Click. See, I don't know. Just but see, he's doing this oil drippy thing. See, like, everything's dripping. Drip, drip, drip. I understand. I mean, you know. You know I, uh, go go which way makes you happy. I'm going man. with this way because it makes me happy. So all right? You fell right into it. I all promised right. I wouldn't talk, but yet I do. But you do. And then when I do, instead of ignoring me, you just whoosh, fall right into it. You just incessantly speak. There's all of this... Going yes, on. there is. All right, ring. All right, you won't, you won't select a ring. That's okay. I, I guess. said no. That's all right. I'll cheat. Boom. Boom. And let's see. I don't really have to connect these all the way back, but I'm going to. So, tink. And uh, let's see here. If we go back here and pull these up. Grab that little funny face there. Let's extrude all. In fact, let's do a bevel. I almost never just extrude anymore. And what is going on there? There must be some sort of extra face or something. You see that? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Cancel. No, everything seems to be okay. The tool just didn't want to do what I wanted it to. Mm. Okay, I don't know if I had something selected. Perhaps that I should have a little bit too far by um, default with what. Uh, I, I think maybe I had something selected that I should oh, have really? selected that caused that. I have no idea, but whatever it is. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's what I was referring to. I think that bevel. Well, that okay. That no, no, no. We're pulling beyond that vertex. Correct. Which is messing everything up. So yeah, we just need to slide everything back. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. If, I, if the bevel on it was pushing an uh, edge past the vertex, I just misunderstood have. what you were talking about. It was all that speaking again. It yeah, threw, threw me off. Yeah. Um, shut up and model. I'm working on it, man. I promise, I am. All right, so uh, that'll work. Let's apply, and then we'll right click and leave that really low, so I don't collapse everything the next time I use it. And now we should be able to just slide these back a little bit and create a tiny amount of bevel. This part I'm not so much worried about because in the end it's well, it's going to be kind of jammed up into the foot anyway. It's just some sort of a little flat surface that we can see on top. In fact, it might be a little tall. I'm going to make it just a little bit shorter. Okay, so if we just stop here for a minute, I keep hitting F8 to get out of component mode. That's just <laughs> the coolest thing in the world. All right, we can fit that in there. It's not quite fitting up exactly so now we get to do my favorite thing in 3ds max which of course is snapping and let's 
Let's see here. What are my snap settings set to right now? Oh, they're set to vertices. Oh, it didn't hear me hit the S key. It's like Ed 209. He didn't hear it. To very much the same result. Okay, so pull this out to about here. It has room to flop down. It doesn't look like it tapers enough. In fact, it looks, no, like, it looks like it doesn't taper at all, really. It, it doesn't. It's relatively flat yeah, at the top. Which is no good for us. So, let's come over here. I'll just kind of vertices and... Tapers now. We'll make it taper. We will force a taper upon it. Which, uh, I could move it over there and actually have a look. Maybe even a little more. Let's just go with that for now. All right. Okay. So we have a toe. Now, before I even dupe this around, I want to take a stab at what's going on on the underside of the uh, of the foot. All right. Because as we saw, like in a, a picture earlier, there's really all sorts of really cool detail under there. Um, in the actual Star Wars film, you don't get to see this too much. And this guy has given us this really nice-looking model of everything. Mm -hmm. And I figure we might as well just use this mm -hmm. uh, just to make our lives easier. And he's also given us kind of a picture of what's going on here on the he underside has. of the foot. All the way up to the point where it connects. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, now, those little panels, that are those little plates that are on the very bottom of the toe... Mm -hmm. You probably could, if you really wanted to, um, adjust the detail here and cut in edges and whatnot until you had what you needed to extrude those out. I don't see a reason. I don't see why we can't just make those out of some boxes and tack them onto the bottom through parenting or linking or what have you. Uh, so we'll just stick everything to the bottom of the grid for just a moment. Pull that out. And let's have a quick look at that shape. It's kind of like a box that's had a corner cut off of it. Mm -hmm. It's really all... Uh, all I can see from it. So, and which corner is it? Because I keep getting confused. I guess I should look at the, take a look at whatever angle and it's coming out of. See, it makes so like, it sharpens up towards the center. Yeah, so. like a little V shape. Yep. So, we just cut through there. We should be good. So there's a lot of different ways we could do that. First off, let's convert this to an editable poly. Let's jump in and grab this polygon. We'll flatten it out a bit. Let's switch over to edges, grab U, jump down to chamfer, pink, and really kick up the chamfer amount. And then we'll just grab this edge kind of by its lonesome. Ow. I keep thinking it's already applied. That's a, a Maya problem. All right, click, and then we'll slide this forward. And that's looking pretty good, at least for starters. Let's take a look at our picture again. And, okay, this uh, corner is going to taper back a little bit, as we can see. And then aside from that, I think it's just a little bit of beveling, and this piece would be done. So we could grab this edge here, maybe slide this up. Grab this one, and this has got to come in a little bit to get parallel with the rest of the toe. And it looks like it looks to me like it slides back, mm -hmm. but I want to double check. So yeah, you know, see, it's kind of staying parallel to what's going on with the front of the thing. It doesn't go back that far. Right, it's enough to put a little bit of a point, just a little bit of angle. So something kind of like so, uh, we can grab it along with this guy. Maybe take both these out here toward the edge. It needs to be parallel with what's going on there. And how far back does it go? Pretty much all the way back to the back of the toe. So we can just grab these guys and slide them back. Maybe a little bit out. And that's coming along. And we'll grab all four of these things. One, two, three, four. And you. And let's chamfer. Not that far. So it's just a little bit to kind of round them out so they're not quite so... Oh, pick your word. Oh, we forgot this guy. And it's cool that we can add him in. Mm -hmm. All right, so we add one more segment. That becomes nice and round. Let's just click Apply instead of OK. Let's grab this and see what happens if we loop it. Is it going to loop? It's not going to loop. So to make my life easier, I'll just cancel out of this and I'll select these manually. Reminds me, I need to go watch Empire again. It's been a while. 
It's been a little while for me, too. I'm embarrassed to say how long. Uh, okay, chamfer. And I don't think we need two separate segments on those, but we can pull down the amount a little bit. Just something to make it a little nicer. And uh, I think that'll take care of that. Let's click OK. Uh, get out of sub-object mode. Put our material on it. Push it up into it a little bit uh, more. Before we even do that, though, I'm going to jump in here and grab that and delete it. It's just one face we don't really need. And um, six. Now let's slide it up into the thing like so. Grab our material. Bam. All right. Looking good. And we can... Uh, I guess before we step away from this, there's some beveling we could do here there is, to yeah. make this look a little bit uh, nice and neat. So let's jump back over to edges. Oh, I have the wrong piece selected. Look at me go. And press F4 so we can see those edges. Now, um, I would bevel. There, like, there's some of these edges I would bevel and others I would not. So this one I would certainly bevel. And when I say bevel, I mean chamfer. So um, if you guys are at all um, exposed to Maya, you know where I got that, but technically a chamfer is a bevel. Or a bevel is a chamfer. The, the two are synonymous. Alright. I think that looks like a pretty good selection to get us started. So let's chamfer that. And you could push this as far as you wanted to, maybe. I don't know about adding a segment. I don't know about the necessity of that. Right. Um, because uh, it really, in the thing here, it'd be like, are you going to shoot this thing where maybe you've got some sort of animation where there's some dude creeping around the foot of this mm -hmm. and you, you know, he's going to climb up over that and you really want that to be a focus. Mm -hmm. Then maybe you'd add that other segment. If you're just going to have it marching along in the snow, you just might want to catch a little bit of a highlight there and you don't need anything highly detailed. So I'm going to leave it at one. You could always chamfer it out to more later on if you needed to. Uh, just make sure you leave it selected when you hit OK. All right, now here we have some kind of interesting stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to chamfer this guy, and then we'll probably have something kind of interesting going on at these corners. I'm not going to chamfer the interior, like the interior corner. Okay. If that makes any sense. This corner that actually goes in. Mm -hmm. So we'll make it uh, look like it really is two separate pieces that are sitting on top of one another. Because if you, if you chamfer that, it's going to look like they're molded together. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I'm going for. Probably don't need to chim for that, but we could just to keep everything connected. And uh, it's hard to say whether you really needed to chim for some of these. Uh, some you could probably get away without it, but up here we could probably get away without it because it's such a low rise. Go ahead and try chamfering the bottom here as well. Okay, now what does that leave? That leaves you. You could probably chamfer what's going on here across the back, kind of as a security measure, in case you know when the toe flips down, somebody can see across the back of it. I don't know what I deselected there, but I don't want to deselect it, whatever it was. And have all this, and we can just run this all the way down. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. And it's just because of how the chamfer worked right there. I'm just going to leave it, and then we can clean it, clean it later. Because I don't want to have to recreate this whole selection again. And that probably doesn't really require a chamfer. Let's see, is there anything else that's hanging on? I think that's it. Uh, you know, I doubt it. I doubt we really need a champ for that. Yeah. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Boom. And before we deselect, I'll just take a quick tour of the place, make sure everything's kind of in working order. This looks a little scary. Probably because our champ for mount's a little high for what's going on there. So for now, let's just deselect these guys. We can deal with all that separately, if at all. It might be just fine like it is. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, nothing too crazy going on back here. 
This looks a little weird, but nothing a target welder two shouldn't be able to take care of. So we should be able to step this. Ah, I hit the segments button again. Look at me go. I think that's going to work. So let's hit OK. And we've got some funny things going on, like around here. Let's just frame up on this little area. And let's see, let's grab our vertices and target weld. Put all that back. So, you know, a little five sided face, but we're not deforming and we're not smoothing. So. Right. It's doing its job. Um, we could weld this out, or we could split this and make it into a straight edge that goes all the way down. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Let's grab our cut tool, and we'll just go from vertex to vertex, straight over. Ah, get out of the cut tool, if we can. And let's hold down control and hit remove, and that'll take out that extra vertex as well. Very nice. All right, so switch back over to the cut tool. Do, 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 do. You didn't know the cut tool came with a theme song, did you? Damn. Don't, don't. I, I hear it. <laughs> you're, okay. You're prepping for something. Okay. And I feel like I'm going to regret it. <laughs> it's all good. Uh huh. All right, now here we can just get rid of all these at once. Move. Oh, one extra I didn't need to kill there, but that's okay. We'll just replace him. There we go. Now, well, you can come in here and clean some of this up. It's probably going to be generally all right, because who's ever going to look back here anyway? But let's just come out and grab target weld. We can ah, go to vertices. And this guy, come here. Are you target welding net? There you go. You go there. Actually, I think that solves most of the dilemma. That looks a little funny. Are you stacked or something? Yeah, okay. Which I'm fine with, as long as we know about it and can get rid of it. Ooh, there's a bunch of them right there. Are you going to weld down? Yes. Let's do a quick marquee selection there and see if there's... No, just one vertex now. And that looks pretty close. Alright, looking good over there. So let's take care of this. Same thing. Target weld. And what I'm going to do real quick, I'm just going to marquee select. I have three vertices right there, so it would have been good to know the last time. Uh, let's just weld those and that becomes number 91, which is fine. A little bit of a split back there because we're kind of losing our bevel it's yeah, you tapering down could take that and just run that all the way back around to the other side because the other side does the exact same thing right <clears throat> so let's see here if I was, if I was going to try to fix that I'd probably do yeah see because those are kind of tapering down now because of the way the bevel's cutting that's alright let's see let's grab edges let's get all these guys and I can chamfer them to create my extra edge. And just click OK, slide these up just a little bit. So it won't be perfectly aligned, but that's that's quite alright. Grab these edges and let's remove those. Grab this edge and we can remove that as well. And what does that leave us with? There we go. And just kind of clean some of these edges up a little bit. No need to spend a lot of time on the vanity here, but something a little nicer than what it was. Alright, cool. Now, same story over here. And remove. And remove. And... Come here, you. Cut, cut. And it looks like it did those get connected the right way. I'll double check in a second. I think they did. 
And we'll try to get that one placed a little better this time so I don't have to move it as far. Yeah, you gotta love that kind of snap zoom that takes place with the scroll wheel. I love it. Alright, I think that's gonna work for now. The geometry is doing what it needs to do anyway. Okay, so that's beveled out. Let's get out of uh, component mode. I hold the scene real quick. Yeah. yeah. One of those good practices to get Absolutely. into. Absolutely. And that's looking pretty good. I might make sure these guys were on the same smoothing group and we got uh, a little closer to being done. But overall, I think that's going to cut it. I mean, if you're marching along and you had a decent texture on that, that's going to look like an at at toe. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can grab this guy and we can mirror it off. You're mirroring in the wrong direction. We want that to be in, what is that, XZ? Or am I smoking again? No, it's YZ. Thank you. I just forgot what angle I was looking at. Nope. Pick one till it works. That's what I say. All right, so uh, copy it. And then we're going to have to offset it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I should be picking a single axis and not a plane. Mm -hmm. And you were just going to sit there and let me do it so you could make fun of me later. Well, you look good to begin with. But then you were like, no, and I was like, oh, okay. Ah, but I noticed you did not say that. All right. Let's see. I, I ah, I ah. remember the first selection. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. the, yes, the yes. letter two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So that's looking okay. Jeff and Goldblum, for those that didn't catch that. Yes. Uh, on Celebrity Jeopardy. So we need to grab all of these pieces and uh, get them all duplicated around. But first, I'm going to worry about what's going on here with the bottom of the foot. So let's take a look at this, and I'm going to zoom up on it for. Uh, my own edification. We've got these concentric rings, you know, like this ring of stuff around the outside. We have another ring on the inside and another ring here. We've got little raised areas that connect all these and it looks really, really complicated, but it's really, really not. It's just a whole bunch of extrusions, mm -hmm. or at least that's what I'm seeing. So uh, let's begin by grabbing uh, this whole thing as a single polygon. And we could leave it right here where it is, but I'm just going to kind of pull it down and out of the way a little bit. It just makes me feel better, so I feel like I can rotate around a little better. Um, let's start with how many edges we need to kind of go in. So we could pull everything in one edge before we create this large major ring. So we'll just begin everything with an inset. So let's see how far in do I want to go in. Maybe just about there. Also press F4 so I can see those edges. That'll help me gauge my distances just a little bit better. And we'll hit apply, and this will be a second inset, and this will be that first major ring. And if you're if you don't know what I mean, that'd be all this stuff. Oh, there you go. So, just in case you couldn't see it. Just before. in case you couldn't see it before, I'll zoom in <laughs> even closer. So uh, now we're going to do a, another inset to make this slightly thinner ring. So let's maybe pull that one back out a little bit, eh, maybe right in there. So apply and another inset. Wow, that's awesome. Impressive with that much. Yeah, there we go. It just doesn't want to insert oh, any no. further. It's like, cr ooh. Do you something... have a, yes. Oh, yeah, it's, it's yes, the yes. little geometry stuff over there. Mm -hmm. But something must not be welded because it's not doing it anywhere else. Yeah, that's really wicked. All right, so let's see. Let's back out of here. Cancel, Control-Z, Control-Z. Get me out of here. What's going on right there? I want to know. I need damage report. Oh, it's all those vertices right there. See, that's why I tried to remember to separate everything first. Sure. But apparently I didn't. So we can just grab everybody right there, and let's just weld them all together. And just make them all one vertex. So yeah, 89 to 88, that's okay. And if that's a little bit off from perfect cylinder, I don't think it's going to matter. But it should be really close. It should be almost completely dead on. All right, and if you needed it to be precise for whatever reason, you could split the whole thing in half, mirror it over, and reattach it. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be that big of a deal. So let's go back here. So repeat. Repeat what you were doing before. Same thing, only better. All right. <laughs> Looks good. And we'll apply. And a little bit more this time for our first kind of major band. And we'll apply. And now we have kind of a minor band that's going to recede up into the foot. 
and then apply again, and we have another kind of bigger band, which, you know, just to jump back over to the picture, that's this thing. And then we have another minor band in from that, so maybe something right about there. Hit apply, and then we have maybe this. And then click OK, because this last piece just extrudes up in, right. and we're all set. So let's do that. Let's extrude and pull that inwards. We won't go too far, but you know, just something to get it started is good enough. And let's jump over to our select tool. Uh, that's not the select tool. Uh, that's the select tool. And we're going to set this over to paint selection, which should make a lot of what I'm about to do a whole lot easier. And let's grab... Oh, careful, careful. There we go. Now if we... Bump. All right, looking good. Uh, we could... Well, we could extrude this out and maybe extrude the inner one just a little bit further. I just changed my mind. I guess that's my prerogative. We're just going to grab that innermost ring, and we're going to extrude that a little bit, but the, we're going to go positive and not negative. So there's that. And then we're going to click OK there. Let's grab the Select tool again. Now, how big is my brush? My brush is pretty big. So if I zoom in, that's not as big of a factor. You know what? Just just go with it, and then I'll just clean up whatever I don't want. Um, have I been selecting through? Oh man! I guess it's good that I caught that now, as opposed to later. Did anybody get extruded who wasn't supposed to? It looks like you're good. I'm scared though. Yep, somebody did. Oh, did it. they? Yep. Yeah, good thing I was watching, or well, I guess I should have been watching earlier, but good thing I caught it when I did. All right, looks like that's as far back as we can undo, which is good enough because I don't think we have any other problems. I think we're set. Because if anything else was extruded with that first extrusion, we would certainly know, because that's a pretty That was a extrusion. big one. And I hate to say this to you, Zach. But are we out of time? It's, it's been a good 31, 32 minutes, Ooh. and uh, we do have a radio show coming Ooh. up in about five minutes no or so. No way. Yep. So this, this is probably an excellent time to say goodbye to mm -hmm. our most excellent viewers. I'm still paying attention to you. And uh, we yeah. can always tune back in. I'm I'm quitting now. I mean, look at look at me quit. It's amazing how I'm how I'm quitting. How I'm stopping the video right here because all I'm gonna do is not just finish up this one little last extrusion. Then I'll be happy and I'll go. I promise. Because all I want to do is nullify that and fly around through. No, 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 continue about the whole ending of the show. <laughs> and you were on a roll. It sounded good. It is Friday, and uh, we've been working really hard. On we have been the, the whole website the site got relaunched for weeks now. So I wanted to mention something. Yeah. Uh, while I've got everybody's attention, if you're uh, new to 3ds Max and you you know you like this series and you want you're like oh, oh you got but, stuff all up in those crevices on the other side and you're like but I want to know more about 3ds Max and things like that uh, might I recommend that you check out 3ds Max Fundamentals which is a product that not only is available from 3D Buzz, but you can actually watch the entire first project mm -hmm. of it on our front page. Many hours worth of stuff. It's absolutely free to watch that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can go check it out for completely for free. Oh, I'm extruding up there, too, so I'm just going to cancel that one out. And we really will wrap the show up there <laughs> because I could be involved in this all day. So that means we need to pick up right about here, mm -hmm. and we'll pick back up here on Monday as it is now Friday. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and we shall see you back Monday night. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.